Okay, okay. So, so I, I can dispel that that myth, and, and it's absolutely. And it's gone. We really are focused on trying to find the best that we can find for our guests, so that they don't have that feeling when they arrive. In fact, we like them to come in and almost be confused if if it is actually used or not. So we like that feeling. All right. And at your store article, we expect to find nothing but the best. And other consignment stores are popping up all over. What absolutely. can people expect to find when they walk in the doors to a consignment store? There are many things that you can find, everything from, you know, your filler items like H&M tops and dresses to some one-of-a-kind pieces, vintage pieces. Um, a Chanel bag. A Chanel bag, for example. Hey. Yeah. So you can, uh, Need a gift you can for find. I'm no kidding. <laughs> 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 what, uh, and is everything at a consignment store, you, I mean, used, you're getting it from somewhere else, I assume? Not always. Yeah, because we work with different clients, so we'll have some new clothing stores that we'll work with, which will obviously have their stuff new that we'll, uh, we'll consign for them. We also, of course, everyone buys, 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 and doesn't always get to it in their closets. Right. And so we'll also get all those items that still have their tags, their original oh, tags wow. on them. Yeah, I currently live with one of those, those people. Yeah. Exactly, yes, yes. I, I offer a service um, through Closet Candy um, where I do a wardrobe purge or a wardrobe edit for my clients. And I can't tell you how many times we clear out you know, many items from their closet and the tags are still hanging wow. on there. Wow. Yeah. All right, so let's take a look over at our beautiful models this morning that are joining us over there on the Sack & Co. runway. Uh, tell us, th so these are all consignment items that you, that really? All yes. items Everything. that they're wearing. Oh my goodness. So yeah. tell us what, uh, what, what, she's, uh, what she's wearing this morning. Well, for example, the orange dress there, um, you can find at our shop, which is very popular the last few days and is, believe it or not, only 59 bucks. Wow. And orange yeah. is a huge color for spring. All right. Um, and of course, nobody's gonna be looking beyond the Chanel bag at this point. It's one of the most popular quilted flap bags and you see them in the magazines and all the celebrities gotta have them. Um, and very affordable as well, 999, which is, if anyone is shopping for that bag, I'm sure I'll have the door beaten down. For <laughs> <laughs> so, and and price is is oftentimes you're gonna you're gonna find some some it seems like decent prices when you're. Well, we work really it. hard to make sure that everything is uh, affordable in the sense that we want things to move, okay. and so we're not gonna give it away, but at the same time we don't want to be unrealistic. Okay. And so that's why we price things at a certain point. We have our next uh, y dashing young young yeah. gentleman over there uh, showing off. So this is also consignment wear. It is um, the Puma. Um, Neil Bray sat there, the top jacket and pants, and that's um, a Bottega Veneta bag, the carry-on bag there. Um, so yeah, he's top it's to very, bottom. Very sleek take on a tracksuit. Absolutely. If some so if some Traveling. guy looking to sport it up a little bit wanted to walk into a consignment store, I, I bet he would not think that that's what he, Heck no. he in fact could come out with. No. So looking looking good there, my man. All right. So uh, <laughs> we also. Um, have uh, another beautiful model this morning who's uh so this is a little bit more of a formal this look is more of an it, evening yeah. look we were going okay. for for jessica yes with rachel we kind of wanted to focus on something more that you would see like a bridal shower or you know um, a luncheon and for jessica it's more going out more evening um we played it up with the kind of vintage inspired really sexy black dress and the clutch and you know and all those pieces can be used again with other things the great thing too is that we work with a lot of local artists so the clutch and the ring is made locally here it's a local designer Mika Bella designs and um, that dress for example when she bought that dress it's actually hers it hey, has the original it. tags on it <laughs> so it was really really exciting for her to find that particular dress and again with the original tags on it so. all right so if someone wants to find you to find some of these fantastic uh, items how, how do they how do they do that well um, like everyone else we're on Facebook Good. article consignment boutique and we're also on the internet uh, articleconsignment.com and you can also find us on Yelp very nice, very nice. And and with your with some of what you're doing and your how, how are how are you seeing? Are you seeing this consignment movement kind of grow and definitely? And, yeah. People right now, like you were saying, people are focused on this in their life, you know, with their personal lifestyle. Again, with with clothing too. Um, we're all kind of all about saving the environment right now, and this is just one more really great way to do it. Plus, people are really looking for the most bang for their buck. Sure. You know, everybody's very conscious about what they're spending right now and why not go to a consignment store and buy a Chanel bag at half the price that no you doubt. could normally no purchase doubt. it. No doubt. And people wanting to look, you know, individual, have that individual exactly. look. Exactly. That's, right. that's a really good point. You know, when you're shopping at a consignment store 
you're not finding multiples, you're finding one item. Got it. So you're gonna come out of there wearing something very unique. Yeah, and many times my clients have told me that people have sought them across the parking lot because of something that they were something wearing. They wear. And unfortunately, no one else can have that piece because they already have <laughs> it, so yeah. They're lost, well they'll have to check your store out. Thank you. Lisa, Abraham, thank you. Models, thank, thank you, you so for looking much. so lovely this morning. Now, Guy, I know he's hanging out. I wonder if he's tasting, no he's not tasting yet, but he's in Lodi. Guy, what's up buddy? Hey Scott, I know you're a little bit jealous that I'm down here in the Lodi wine country at the beautiful Sorelli Winery, but I'm down here to visit with my friend Laura McIntosh, who's shooting one of the episodes of her show, Bringing It Home with Laura McIntosh. We're gonna talk with her right after the break, so stick around.